Again, uh, the supply chain theory is, is quite rich in the sense that it starts realizing what is the role that you play within the supply chain. Are you the buyer or are you the supplier? And the perspective of the buyer and the supplier will be different in terms of uh, why you hedge and when you hedge. If you are the buyer, if you are the downstream firm, we are going to argue that uh, in most cases you like hedging. Uh, it guarantees the continuity of supply for you. And uh, at the same time, if you yourself are willing to hedge, then you are a very reliable buyer for the supplier that is going to reward with uh, lower prices. So that's advantageous uh, hedging. Uh, and as I argue, the hedging, if you hedge, also your supplier has to hedge. If that is happening, that supply chain is a desirable supply chain, especially for the downstream firm. It's lower prices and higher profits. Uh, but as I argue, is you are going to hedge only if your uh, partner is going to hedge. If they are not going to hedge, you are not going to hedge either. Because uh, uh, hedging when they have not hedged exposes you to the volatility of the prices and you might have heavy obligations to the financial markets. So the uh, answer here is that uh, either you are dealing uh, with a counterparty that is sophisticated enough uh, and uh, willing to hedge with you, or you have the power to enforce the hedging upon your suppliers. So that's the answer with respect to the buyer. Uh, the answer with respect to the supplier is a little more complex. In general, the supplier might not always see it as advantageous to hedge. If they have the power and they can pass uh, some of their risks uh, to the downstream firm, they're not going to hedge. If I am Belden and I'm buying aluminum and copper and I'm selling to Graybar and um, these are highly customized products uh, to a firm that has uh, substantial margins and probably they can't find a lot of suppliers that can provide my kind of services, I'm going to pass the risk of the aluminum and copper to them and they're going to accept it. In that case, I'm not going to hedge. So, if you have the power in the supply chain as a, uh, as a supplier, uh, in many cases you're not going to hedge. Uh, the cases that you're going to hedge is when you see a downstream buyer that has very good demand and high volumes, but at the same time you see tight margins, and you're always afraid about what commodity prices will do to those tight margins. You would love to continue to have that business, and in that situation, you would like to hedge and make sure, of course, that also your buyer is going to hedge as well. In that case, you guarantee a uh, cash flow stream uh, of high volume, and especially if your margins are better than that of the downstream firm, also very good margins. So that is the answer that our theory gives.